Hello. You are welcome on board. So this is our first class. Uh, you are welcome. So in this class, we are going to consider elementary differential equations. So those are the things we are going to study. So you are welcome on board. So preamble differential equations. You know, the subject of differential equation is needed. You know, it helps us to understand so many things. For instance, it is, is needed to understand physical sciences. You know, when we are talking about physical science, you know, we have life sciences and we also have physical sciences. So, differential equations help us a lot to understand the concept of physical sciences, as in the case of chemistry, as in the case of statistics, as in the case of uh, mathematics, and some other aspects like that. We need the concept of differential equations. Also, it helps us to understand the ideas and theories, uh, which are also needed in higher analysis. We really need this concept a lot, you know, because whenever we are talking about eye analysis, we are talking about uh, situations whereby there is a kind of change in one thing with respect to the other. Now, second thought one is that um, it helps us to represent um, certain problems in physics, engineering, chemistry, and other disciplines. You know, in all these cases, there is a kind of way that one thing is changing with others. So we need the knowledge of uh, differential equations as well. Now, let's take a look at what we're having on the board here. You can see now that this is an example of a differential equation because it's a kind of mathematical expression that relates the dependent variable y with respect to the independent variable x. You know, in this case now, we can call this one ordinary differential equation because here, we only have one dependent variable and we have one independent variable. And as you can see, we have the derivative here. This is the second derivative. And this is the first derivative. This is the unknown function. And as you can see, this is an example of ordinary differential equation. So as we can see again, this one here is called a partial differential equation. Because as you can see here, the dependent variable is what is u. Why the independent variable are x and y? x and y and we also have the derivative of u with respect to x here and we have the second derivative of u with respect to x and y so let's continue you know either in physical sciences either we want to uh, uh, carry out a kind of higher analysis or perhaps we want to talk about the problems in physics engineering and chemistry there's need for us to come up with uh, mathematical models because this one is needed to help us to understand and to further explore all the phenomena. That is it. So that is one thing because in most of those cases, we have a change in one variable with respect to two or more. So that is where mathematical models comes in place. And by the, by the time we have the mathematical model, there's need for us to understand the model and solve it. So, these mathematical models often involve the search for an unknown function. Because if we have to solve this one expression here, you will notice that um, there will be a particular unknown function y. That if we, second, if we differentiate it twice, and we differentiate the function once, and we add the function here, we add it together, it will give us zero. So, that's what we mean that by the time we have the model, there's need for us to look for the unknown function. What are the contributors? Who are the contributors? You know, this is very important because this concept we are talking about has been in existence since uh, 1950s. In fact, from time memorials, there has been differential equations. The first person I will mention is Isaac Newton. You know, he contributed a lot to this body called differential equation. Uh, Gottfried Leibniz also contributed a lot to how we can understand differential equations. So. Other contributors are people like um, Banoli, J. Banoli, and then Jean Banoli again. And we have someone like Christian Huggins. And at the same time, Leonard Ula also contributed to, uh, to the concept. And another contributor is um, Daniel Banoli. And then we have um, Joseph Langrange. And those are the, those are the uh, contributors to the uh, differential equation. So, Let's talk about dependent variable and independent variable. You notice that I've mentioned the other time to really explain 
the general view of the differential equation. But what is so special? Let's consider case one. That's the case of ordinary differential equations. If you have the weights of an individual, we know that the weight changes with respect to carbohydrate consumption. You know, the more carbohydrate is being consumed, the more the weight will change. So, in this case, we cannot say that um, weight of an individual is a function that can change with respect to carbohydrate consumption. What does it mean in real sense? It means that um, So the next thing we are going to talk about now is dependent variable and independent variable. You know, you agree with me that I've mentioned it uh, in my first slide where I was introducing you to the concept of differential equation. So this is very important because there's no way we are talking about differential equation that we will not uh, mention what dependent variable and independent variable is all about. So let's consider case one now. It's called ordinary differential equation. Now let's consider the weight of an individual. You will notice that um, weight of an individual changes with carbohydrate consumption if you see someone that always eat too much of carbohydrates you agree with me now that the weight will be changing so in that case we can say that weight of an individual it changes with carbohydrate so in that case we have one independent variable x here which is carbohydrate consumption and we have one dependent variable which is the weight so this is the genesis of differential equation in fact let me show you an example. Look at this now. In this case now, I think you remember this expression before. And I said this is a second order, ordinary dimension equation. Why do I call it second order? Because we have the derivative here to be 2. So we have this expression. But why do we call this one ordinary dimension equation? Because here, we have one independent variable, which is x. Case 2, partial dimension equation. There's something called dependent personality disorder. It is called DPD. You know, this thing is very common among women, but at times it may not really show at the adulthood, but when the person uh, is growing, we can begin to see the, the disorder, which is dependent personality disorder. Now, in this case, some sociologists, they've let us discover that DPD, which we can call Z, it changes with respect to changing behavior, which is X, and the level of expectation, which is Y. So this is another example of partial differential equation. You can see now that in this case now, we have one dependent variable and we have two independent variables. Now, this is an example. I think you remember this example, which I've, uh, I've shown you before. So it's, an, it's a good example. Now, what is definition now? Let's not divide ordinary differential equation. A differential equation involves only ordinary derivative. That is, the derivative with respect to a single independent variable. You know, this is called an ordinary differential equation because, as you can see, this example now we have this here. You know, in this case, we have one dependent variable and we have one independent variable. In fact, most times we can represent the expression like this, which you can see in your lecture notes in your manual. You see now that we are saying there will be a particular g, and inside that g function, we have x, which is the independent variable, we have y, which is the dependent variable, we have the derivative of y with respect to x, we can have the second derivative of y with respect to x, we can even have nth derivative so this n can be five and this one can be five you know so in the expression above g is a known real value function and the unknown function to be determined is what is y of x now can we say all the expressions are od you know there are some limitations and in this video i'm going to show you three cases of an expression of, of some expressions that we cannot refer to as rde Example number one. Let's look at this. This one here is called identity because it's telling us that um, if we differentiate x and y, we are going to have this. You will notice that in this case, what we have here is the same thing with what we have here. So since the left hand side is equal to the right hand side, then that means that this expression is called an identity, not a differential equation. Yes, because you can see what we are trying to say is that you know if you remember from product true. 
you know, you keep y, you differentiate x. You know, if you differentiate x with to x, you have 1. If you keep x and you differentiate y with to x, you have this expression. Can you now see now that we cannot call this one a differential equation but an identity? Example number 2. Let's look at this. We can never call this one OD. Despite the fact that the dependent variable is changing with respect to, in the, to one independent variable. Why is it? It's because we are evaluating this expression here at x. Why we are evaluating this expression here at x plus 1? So because of that, we can see clearly now that this is not a, an ordinary differential equation because the left hand side is evaluated is evaluated at a at a point that is not the same thing with the second. Now let's consider the third example. This third example here, can we call this one ordinary differential equation? No. Why? Because you see now that here, yeah, the y, why or no function that we are looking for is a and the interval is actually zero to x. So if the interval is 0 to x, then you will now see that the same dependent variable is also here without the integral sign. So you can see this that um, we can never reverse to this one as um, ordinary differential equation. So we are going to proceed by speaking to your lecture notes. Thank you very much.